Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here, and we're doing our Weekend Anomaly mission. Once again, it is Friday, April 26, 2024. We're going to see what the Anomaly mission has in store for us, of course. And as always, we'll fill you in on a little bit of news. Um, I have started my Twitch channel, so please see me over there. It's under, as you might guess, Elon Paul. Uh, so check me out over there and please uh, hit the follow button. There's no reason over there to uh, join the channel. There's nothing to pay. Just go ahead and hit that follow button. It usually helps out the channel quite a bit. Um, be doing a lot of polya over there. That's what I'm going to be doing mostly over there. Uh, you won't see any videos yet because of uh, one checkbox I forgot to check off last time I streamed over there. And that is to post the recording of my last stream <laughs> for seven days. So whoops. Eh, that's okay. That's okay. Still getting used to streaming over there. And uh, yeah, yeah. So No Man's Sky has some interesting news. We have an internal branch update. As you know, they just uh, did some updating. Um, let me see. I think it was about a week or two ago now where they did a lot of bug fixes. So they've had an internal update yet again. Nobody knows what's in store for that one. So we'll watch over the weekend and see if uh, Sean does any uh, any tweets for us. But probably not. I mean, it's it's still early. We call it late April right now, early May. Expect that it, if this is it, it could be the expedition, but I don't expect it to go live for at least another week or two. So we'll see what happens on that. All right, so let's get started on our anomaly mission now that we're pretty much done with all the usual news. Boink. There we go. A little closer. There we go. Okay, got the little blue icon indicating we have a mission. Roots of aggression. We're eliminating hazardous flora yet again. Okay, and this time we're going to get a factory override unit and 1800 Quicksilver, as well as a reward of 425,000. Excellent. All right, let's go ahead and initialize this mission. Start it. And let's move on. All right. Mission started. Roots of aggression. There we go. And we're on our merry little way. And as usual, throws me into hyperspace. Okay, good deal. So we're on our way to this mission. We're going to take out some plants. Now, depending upon the planet we get to, uh, we've had weird issues occur on occasion where we get to a planet and there's literally nothing on the planet. It's, it's void of everything, and we had to find a cave in order to find it. There's also the opportunity for us to go to a different planet in the system if the planet we've been assigned to doesn't work out, as long as we don't leave the system. So keep that in mind. Just going to wait for it to show up. There it is. Straight ahead. Now, the key point to this mission, unlike some other missions, is rather than just landing anywhere you want on the planet, you do have to find this exact coordinate. It says approximate location, but we're looking for a grave, a, a, a gravestone marker for a fallen traveler. And we have to find that first. A couple different ways we can find it. We can go on foot and we can get for it that way. If you use your radar in your ship at the very top of the screen like you see right now we can use that to find it oh it's a mountainous one i hate these planets as you know um okay hold on hold on i'm gonna come to a slow crawl here so it could be anywhere around here so we're gonna look at that radar we're gonna look for the icon because trying to travel up and down these planets without your ship is a pain in the neck First, I'm going to go down here and see if it's in one of these alcoves. It'll be in a clearing, usually, and you'll see it on your radar as a little diamond-shaped object. My guess is it's up here, maybe. And we're going to look for stuff over here. Whoop, 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 whoop. There it is. There it is. You see it? See it on the screen right there? It's probably right underneath us, I'm guessing. I don't see it with the naked eye just yet, but it's got to be like right here. All right, let's go ahead and land. Oh, there it is to my right. There it is. Excellent. Well, we got fortunate on that one. These mountainous places. Ugh, oh, they're such a pain. Okay. Snagged around the ankles, piercing thorns, psst. completely unaware. We reduce the numbers, but psst. 
The fall in Traveler's Log seems to mention the floral infestation but holds no further clues. I will need the scout to locate the hazardous flora. Okay. That means we're on our way. So now our mission has started. We don't have to stay here. We can go anywhere we want. But the thing that I always like to look for, I like to look for caves. See, it says it can't find anything, but that's just because the procedural generation hasn't shown it to us yet. So what you do is, is get out of this mode. Go to this mode instead, just by using your number buttons, one and three, and look for hazardous flora underground. Like when you see subterranean relics, that means there's a cave right here. So aim for the cave. Looks like we got a cave literally right in front of us. Um, we're on mining beam, okay. Looks like we need to recharge that guy too. Looks like everything needs to be recharged. Look at this. Everything was low. Okay, anything else? Yep, you. Okay, that's good. Why not? Let's do you too. Alright, why not? Okay, we'll do that. Okay, looks like we're good. Everything had to be charged. And you see? That's hazardous right there. And they're easier to find in caves. And they're usually in clusters. So we've already got two down out of 11 that it wants us to get. And this is an entire cave area right here. So just move over here real quick and we'll take a look. Got a little turned around there. I am actually going to turn on my light. How deep is this? It is sadly a very shallow cave. But because we saw some subterranean relics, that means we've got another cave here nearby. Let's take another peek. Uh, yep, right there. And 69. So there's one right there. Let's go up just a little bit. So either there's a cave right here, or we'll have to dig down to get to it. Traveling around the mountains is a pain in the neck. Alright. Oh, yeah, there happens to be one right there. Let's go ahead and grab that. Okay. Alright, looks like right there. Okay, so we're going to dig down. I'm being very careful because we don't want to destroy anything that's in there. Where'd it go? Let's check it out. Yeah, they're literally right there. Destination reached, so I think the cave is above us, maybe? There it is. Okay, now we're in the cave. Knew we'd find it somehow. Alright, be careful. Switch back over. I usually just use the mining beam. It's easy to take care of these guys with your mining beam. But this is a very weird looking cave. Looks like we got one straight below us right there. Right there. Okay, so we're up to four. Uh, looks like we've got a whole bunch at the ceiling there. Look at that, clustered up. Five. Six, seven, oh, and one right behind it, eight, nine, and ten already. Look at that. Ten right in that one group. Excellent way of getting this done. We just need one more now. So just look around. We're bound to find one in here. We can always dig our way back out when we want to leave. Yep, there they are. And eleven. And we're done. Okay. Excellent. So the threat has been eliminated. Our ship is right over there. Let's make a path, shall we? Get off that slope so we can actually walk. How far away is the ship? Yeah, it's like right around this corner here. And there we go. Hey, look. Right in front of our ship. Fantastic. Love it. And we're back. Alright, good deal. So let's go ahead and turn off my light, first of all. And we're out of here. So that is probably the best way to handle it on this planet, is look for a cave. Look for subterranean relics on this planet, and you will find that it is probably the easiest way to go. You could go around the surface, but going up and down those mountains is such a pain in the neck. I don't recommend it at all. Alright, we're pulling our space anomaly and head on our way There we go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Ah, space station was kind of unusual on this system. Too bad we can't go back. 
because as soon as I exit the station, it's going to uh, spit me out in my, uh, my old system. So, all right. And there we go. And we'll, of course, check the Quicksilver vendor and just see where we are with getting our, um, our prizes, if you will, and unlocking them. It's been a slow go. That is also a secondary way in which you can tell when you might be getting close to an expedition. All right, complete the mission, and we got everything we need. All right, so that went pretty smoothly. Quicksilver vendor. Create. All right, so it looks like the first one's been unlocked. You notice that tier two is already at 17%. Last week, we were really low. We were all the way down here. So this tells me that it's starting to speed up. So we may be looking at an expedition coming along soon, folks. So I'm going to go ahead and collect this, this item. We got two more to unlock. I almost guarantee you that we'll unlock the second one before the weekend's out. So we'll keep an eye open for that. All right. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So there we are. So we're going to call this particular episode done and done. Um, any more news? I can't think of anything. I'm not going to be streaming this weekend. There's too much going on this weekend for me, uh, family-wise and everything like that. Next weekend, I do have some availability, so I will most likely be streaming at least on Saturday night. So keep an eye open for that. I'll be streaming here on YouTube. Um, whether I do Palia or not, that's another story. I'll probably do that over on Twitch as I usually do. This time I'll record the video, and once it's recorded, it'll be available over there for about seven days, but I'll be able to take the recorded video and put it on YouTube as well, and just post that for anybody who wishes to watch that. Um, those are my two games that I've been playing lately. Now, as far as other games are concerned, I know a lot of people with the Fallout series over on Prime having come out, um, everybody's been playing a lot of Fallout too. That's not a game I'm going to be showing on this channel. This is a family-friendly channel, and as we know, there's a lot of uh, blood and guts and everything else that happens on that game. Um, not the kind of game I want to showcase over here, so that probably won't be happening. I do have some other ideas. Please continue to watch my normal playthrough that I've been doing lately, my new save. Um, I think I'm getting to a point with the new save that I'll be able to start really getting things going, and I may start using it for these anomaly missions. So we'll see how that goes, and I'll just use whatever ship I happen to have gotten uh, in my playthrough. And there we are. All right, so folks, thank you again for watching. Please hit that, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so if you like the content. And if you are subscribed, please double check that you're still subscribed. I've been noticing my subscriber count has dropped a few lately and it keeps fluctuating up and down. Uh, YouTube has this weird thing that's going on lately that they unsubscribe people uh, out of the blue for no reason. So we don't know why that's happening and I don't think YouTube has figured it out either. But the likes do help the channel. They do help the, uh, uh, the algorithm. So please do so. Thank you very much. And as usual, we will see you in our next video. Take care, everybody.